So I was talking to a friend and we we're thinking about the one of one ring. And this came up when the Star City Games, I believe their CEO, Ben Bleisman, very famous guy, he's been their CEO for a long time. Uh, I think he's the CEO. Um, and he pulled a serial numbered one out of 500, Ragov, the, the monkey guy, the pillar. The, the, it's a very expensive monkey. I think it's like $600 or $60 and double masters. And he was like taking offers. And the interesting part isn't that he pulled one, of course. The interesting part is it's serial nice number one. Now, if you know anything about sports cards and backdoor breaks and so on, there are accusations that certain breakers get uh, cases which are marked. And in these marked cases, there are the hobby hits, right? There are the, the, the big hits because if you are a, a card manufacturer, you definitely you want as many people's eyes to see. The last thing you would want to do is for some random nobody who's not recording it to hit the card. There's no excitement, there's no PR, there's no, all oh, people are gonna buy more or less, you know, there's no craze or hype. You want those big cards to end up in backyard breaks because they have the biggest audience on whatnot. Let me repeat that again. Um, you want the, the best hits, if you mark them, you want them to go to people like Ben, who is going to post on social media, lots of clicks, lots of things. You want people who are famous and people who like Post Malone, for instance, there is no better scenario for them, for this one-on-one -on -one ring, than giving a few boxes to Post Malone, asking him to rip it on live stream or wherever, he rips it on, you know, I mean, the best case scenario if they had Tolerant Community College live streaming and Post Malone made a guest appearance and they ripped some stuff and Post Malone pulls a one-on-one -on -one ring. Maximal viewership, maximal, and everyone benefits. Post Malone benefits, Tolerant Community College benefits, and of course, Wizard of the Coast benefits from this item being pulled on live stream on the biggest channel by the biggest guy. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking of these serialized number cards and it is really relevantly apparent to me that these, just like Panini, right? These infinite, the one of one, Luca. I mean, there's another even crazier scenario that people are saying about Luca. So Luca, the guy Shine, he's the guy who bought the fake case of Pokemon, first edition booster boxes, and then sold the fake case to Logan Paul. Logan Paul opened it, it was GI Joe. So this guy's a heavy player, this guy is for real. Uh, there's a conspiracy that maybe he pulled, so he put a offer of 1.2 million if somebody pulls a card, the 101 Luca Black. And there's the idea that maybe he already has a card because he has a lot of inventory of this product, the, this Prism product. So he's manipulating the prices of the boxes by all, and, but he already has a card, so he knows that card will never be pulled because he already has it in his collection. He just hasn't told anyone about it. And he has all, all these other boxes that he bought before putting the bounty on that card. So there might be a very interesting case scenario when somebody does pull it, doesn't tell anyone, accumulates boxes, starts box breaking them, and, and then puts a bounty on it and says, hey, I'm gonna put a $10 million bounty on this one-on-one -on -one card and they have the one-on-one. -on -one. They already pulled it or acquired it some way. And now they have all these uh, inventory that they got cheap. They put a bounty on it and now the inventory goes up in price. That's what a lot of people are saying happened to Luca with the Prism 101. It might already pull, be pulled by the guy. Nobody would know the difference, right? So if you pulled it and you could not post on social media, again, that would be very, you know, you would have to like, you'd have to be very financially savvy and mindful, right? You pull the one-on-one -on -one ring, you keep it, you don't tell anyone, you start buying boxes, you say, hey, if anyone pulls a one-on-one -on -one ring, I'm gonna give $10 million to them for it. Well, there's gonna be a frenzy of people because this is what gambling is. The jackpot has just gone up. The jackpot has just gone up from 100,000 to 10 million. So theoretically, the boxes have also gone up and now you're just breaking the boxes, right? Oh man, I hope you pull it. And in the uh, back of your head, you know that they're not gonna pull it because you have it already. This is a scenario that may play out in many of these bounties, right? When somebody gets a bounty on a one-of-one -one card, 
maybe they already own the card and they're just trying to sell you the pack the the product and whatnot which is very common to be honest honest god so the more um the more um thing the more dumb things i think about like about this type of stuff that can happen the more i realize that i have no chance of pulling that card Post, if I had to guess who would post it, it would either be Post Malone, an OnlyFans model, or a, a non-binary social justice PhD. I mean, you know, you know what? I what's her name? Gre Greta. She would be a poster child to pull it. Would it surprise me if Autumn pulled it? No. Would it surprise me if Post Malone? No. Would it surprise me if an OnlyFans a Facebook moderate? No. They need somebody with like you know who they politically agree with to pull the card. The worst thing that they could happen is it actually be pulled by a random, I mean, honest to God, like what, what happens if that Harold dude, McNeil dude, who did um, the Invoke Prejudice, what if he's like a magic player and he pulls it? What if I pull it? What if Jeremy Hambly pulls it? This, they, they have to make sure the person who doesn't pull it is, is a non, is, the person who pulls it is non-binary, super liberal, right? Um, they cannot let their ring get in the hands of a conservative. God, I mean, imagine if Donald Trump pulled it. It would go and say, they, they would just blow, the, they, the, everyone in their their department would just explode. Like, you know, wow. I mean, everyone would quit the next day. There would be no Wizard Coast. And there would be no more Magic the Gathering. The entire office would walk out and protesting. That's how I know this cannot be a random card. Because if the wrong person pulls it, they're effed. So it cannot be randomized. It's got to be in a package given to Post Malone or given to non-binary OnlyFans member. Or not member, the model. It's called the models. It's got to be that. And there'll be a big event and they're opening boxes. Oh, they pulled at the biggest Magic Commander Fest. Wow, amazing. Or Tolarian Community College pulls it in his, you know, uh, game that he plays, the booster box game. Oh, cool. This is what's going to happen. It's not going to be some nobody, and I guarantee you 100% it won't be a Republican or conservative. This I know for a fact. There's no way they would take that risk. There was no way. I mean, imagine if I pulled it. It would be terrible for them. They would all melt and scream and yell and shake their fist in angry silence, right? Like they normally do against me. <laughs> oh, man. And also, there's no idea that Rudy pulls it. They don't like Rudy. He got no promos with them. He's got like 20 promos of MetaZoo. He's got not a single promo of Magic. You know, the one game that he sells most of, right? So there's no way I'm pulling it because there's no way that it's in any of these random packs. It just cannot be because what if, like, like, what if a neo-Nazi pulls it? Wow, that would be terrible, right? That would be awful for them. They would, they would, I mean, it would be awful for everybody. I, I mean, I'm gonna be honest, it'd be awful for everybody. But it would especially be bad branding for them because obviously the person pulls it. Now, now the whole magic uh, social media sphere is really attentive to the, who that person is. Oh, how did you pull it? Are you gonna sell? It's like a lottery winner, right? So a lottery winner, but like in the, in the lottery winner, it's a different scenario because it is kind of random. I hope, I hope they're not, you know, <laughs> unrandomizing it but in this case scenario like they uh, they this is a political company which of the coast is very liberal they're very non-binary they're very trans um friendly and that's all good things so imagine if somebody who's not one of these things pulls a card and now the whole magic the world is looking at that person and it's like oh well that person is a um blank blank offender and he 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 um does bad things to kids. He's a magic gathering judge, but not a liberal judge, you know, a conservative judge. No, it couldn't happen. So this, I, I guarantee you, this this card is not in a random pack. I guarantee you that this card already has been given 